Hi again. It's Susan here, the art therapist that has done a few videos for you now. So I've got a really fun exercise for you to do. See this guy here? He's pretty hilarious. And I would never have thought of this to just draw out of my head and imagination. I'm pretty sure of it. There's some details that I just don't think that I could have done. But if you look really closely at this, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of dots on the page. And this hilarious character came out as a result of connecting the dots. It's a pretty fun, I, pretty fun thing. And this one I did on a great big piece of paper and it was a lot of fun. And I've also done them, whoops, on a smaller piece of paper. So I have this journal page that I make into a grid regularly and I try and do this every day. And on this particular day, I don't know if I can show you, not the shadow. I'm sitting outside, you might be able to hear the fountain in the background and, and other noises going on and hopefully I'm coming out pretty clear for you. So this guy, he came out as, as a result of putting a hundred dots in that little space and then looking at it and seeing what came out. He's pretty hilarious too. And again, I don't think that I could have done this out of my imagination. And it also arose as a result of some of the writing that I was doing above in the space up above. And then the next day, I did another one. Again, something that arose out of the writing that I was doing. And this one, I also decided to add some color. You can see the first one, there was no color. The second one, one color. This one, there's much more color. And it's just an impulse that I had. It was an instinctive thing that I wanted to do. So I did it. So I invite you to take a mark making tool out of your kit. I'm going to use a Sharpie fine liner as my dot making tool. And I'm going to put 100 dots on my page. I also just wanted to point out, I'm sitting outside today. It's a beautiful day and I didn't want to sit inside. I wanted to let the warm air fall on my face and my hair and body and just feel the warmth. And I find a lot of relaxation outside as well. If I'm feeling a little bit stressed or pent up or, or anything that's just not feeling quite right, I go out into nature and I find a place to sit. I'm able to stay in my backyard at this time, but other times I'll go for a walk. And I might even be able to take my little kit of things and a journal with me and do an exercise. So sometimes we just don't really know what to do and we want to tap into our subconscious and our unconscious and see what's there. And this exercise is a really fun way to do it. It just is a really loose thing. So I invite you to just take your pen or your pencil or whatever you're using on a piece of paper. And it is kind of fun to use a larger piece of paper. This is about eight and a half by 11. And just start making dots all around the paper randomly. The more random you can get, the better. Don't think about it. Just go for it. Just make dots everywhere that you can. The nice thing about using the Sharpie is that it makes pretty visible dots, whereas a pencil and a pen often have to do these kind of little circles that I started to do here. As a result of having done the last number of dots that I did with a pen instead of the black Sharpie. And it doesn't matter if some of them are a little bit bigger and some of them are a little bit smaller. Just fill the page with a hundred dots or more. Don't go less. You need lots of dots to find something in here. I don't know how many I've got here. I'm just going to add a few more to be on the safe side. And out here on this bigger piece of paper, they can be a little bit further apart, which might be kind of nice. The ones on the smaller grid were pretty close together. And sometimes a little bit hard to see what was going on. So once you've got your hundred dots on your page, have a look at it. What do you see in that hundred dots? You don't see anything in that direction. You can take it and look at it in another direction. 
It doesn't matter. You didn't make it in any way in particular for anything else. I don't know whether it's the shadow play on these dots that I'm seeing a butterfly, but it might be. On over here, I kind of see a butterfly or a dragonfly too. Something on my mind. Perhaps it has a little bit to do with, I kind of like this one actually, because it seems to have these really big antenna here. And a butterfly right now is a symbol of some of the change that is in the works and going on for us in our day to day as this COVID-19 becomes a little different as the government chooses to open things up a little. So I'm just going ahead and I'm looking and seeing where I saw things before and seeing if it's changed at all, which it has a little bit. And I'm just following the dots. And I'm deciding that some of these are going to be a little bit of an embellishment there, it looks like. I think that needs to go there. And then, where were these wings? Somewhere in here. And as I follow the lines, I come up with some wing shapes that I probably wouldn't have done just freehand. Well, I'm not sure that that's looking much like a butterfly now, but that's okay. We'll see what happens as we continue here. Basically, it's up to you what you do. You just can follow the lines. Have fun with it. Don't get too hung up on what it looks like. Just let it come out and play. Hmm. What is going on here, I have to say? It's pretty different. I'm just going to turn this off and I'm going to fill it in a little bit while you do yours. I'll meet you in a few minutes. Back. As you can see, it ended up not being a butterfly at all. And I turned the page around again just to have a look. And I found mm, kind of a rabbit again. Big ears up here, face kind of long, hair, ha ha, there's a pun there, right? Flowing, long dangly legs. Maybe these are the arms and the body and it looks like it's dancing in the starlight. Yeah, this is a dancing rabbit. Now who would have ever thought? And I think this one is going to be calling for some color. So what did you find in your dots? Did you have fun? Keep on going. Bring it out. You can add other line dimension to it. Just like I did in that first one. You can add color. You can go on to the next hundred dots and see what comes out there. I hope you had fun with this and I hope you make lots and lots of these hundred dot creations. See you next time. I'm back. So Susan here again, art therapist. Um, I had the instinct and to color my creation in my character. Man, has she ever come up with a character, eh? I think this character, this rabbit-like character, her hair has become like a cape and her ears are big for listening, listening openly without judgment and her eyes are calm and her hair 
Her cape can hide her, can help her fly. Right now, I think she's flying. I know somebody who's not feeling very well, and I'm thinking that this, this character, this, this character, what is her name? Hmm. What is her name? Eloise is coming to mind. So Eloise, this character, can fly to listen, to be there, to support. She's got a story. Can you, do you have a story from your character that you created? Perhaps you do. So that's another fun thing to do actually, is to write a story with your character. You also notice that I put this blue around here and you might have noticed when I was showing the supplies that I keep in my kit, um, some chalk pastels on my si by my side. So I did the blue with chalk pastel. I don't keep these in my kit because they would be crumbly and they're messy, they would make everything messy, so I keep them on the side elsewhere. If you had a box, perhaps you could do that. You'd be able to keep them in the tray that they came in and keep them tidy. But you'll also notice that when I use a chalk pastel, I don't have the color really dark. I add the color and then I rub it in, rub it out, rub it and spread it out. And that way it's just a lot less dusty and a lot less messy. All right, this is it this time. Eloise, the flying caped rabbit, is saying goodbye. She'll listen in on another time. Bye for now. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, care. I know I'm a little crazy. And that's okay. You know what? This can really bring out the child in you that sometimes you're not able to share. And you know what? None of this work that you do here has to be shared with anybody. This is your own private work. And if you want to let your child play, go for it. Why not? Some of us grew up way too fast anyways. Take care. Bye for now.